It's now time for the Rebirth Sports Full Game Recap. We go all the way back to November the 4th of the year 2023 when the Nashville Purrs were in Edmonton to face off against the Oilers on a continuation of their CMA road trip, the middle game of the five-game road trip. Nashville Purrs head coach Andrew Burnett deploys his lines in the following way. Forsberg, O'Reilly, and Nyquist make up your first line. Sherwood, Novak, and Evangelista, your second line. Trennan, Sissons, and Cole Smith on the third line. Foodie, Parson and Tomasino back in the lineup. That's the important notation right there. Yossi and Fabro, Luzon and Carrier Del Gaizo making his NHL debut for the Nashville Purs with Barry McDonough out as a scratch. We are 127 into the game in Edmonton, which of course has been a house of horrors for the Nashville Predators in recent seasons. And at 127 of the first periods, Campbell coming with a save on Del Gaizo with the first shot of the game and the first shot on goal for Del Gaizo in his NHL career. 154 into the first period. Lankanen coming up with a save on Nugent Hopkins at 209 of the first period. Gagne hits the post, so we see iron struck early here in the first. At 358 of the first period, Lankanen coming up with a save on Matias at home at 505 of the first period. It's Campbell coming up with a save on Sherwood 726. Lankanen back to work coming up with a save on Connor McDavid at 936 of the first period. We see our first special teams action as Luzon is off to the box. Two minutes for holding. Never a good idea to put the Edmonton Oilers on the power play, and it certainly was not right here as Darnell Nurse cashes in for the Edmonton Oilers, his second goal of the season. It was a long shot that hit a post, then a body, then a post, and then it went in. So quite the pinball action to find its way in the back of the net, but it does beat Lankanen and the Nashville Predators and gives the Edmonton Oilers a 1-0 lead in the first period. But just seconds later, at 10-22 of the first period, Philip Forsberg's second goal of the season ties the game up at one apiece. It was a wraparound and a beautiful Del Gaizo started the play and gets his first assist of his NHL career in his first game. Philip Forsberg does the work, though, taking it behind the net off the rush and tucking the puck in. He had Campbell beaten easily. The only question was whether he'd be able to finish the play in the tuck, and he does for a second of the season. Philip Forsberg's got the Preds on the boards. 11-12 of the first period. It's Lankanen coming up with a save on Bouchard. 12-04. Campbell comes up with a save on Sherwood. 16-58. Darren is off to the box. Two minutes for puck over the glass. We see Lankanen have to come up with a huge shorthanded save on Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Then Campbell comes up with one save while he is on the penalty kill on Nyquist. 16-15 of the first period. Campbell comes up with a save on Smith with the paddle and out of play. And then we have... 16-15. Yeah, that's Smith with the paddle. And then at 1904, Campbell comes up with a save on Fabro. And 1934, Lankanen comes up with one final save in the period on Gagne. End of the first period. A lot of back and forth action. The Oilers outshoot the Purs in the first 11 shots to 10. Just 22 seconds in, and it's the cleanest sheet of ice you can find. It's O'Reilly scoring his fifth goal of the season. It was a rebound put back off Forsberg shot from out high. This gives the Nashville Purs a 2-1 to one lead. Ryan O'Reilly wins a battle there at the side post and he gets to the puck first not by much but just enough to sweep the puck into the net Preds lead two to one early in the second period at the 59 second mark of the second period it's Lankanen coming up with a save on Fogel at 247 of the second it's Kane off the box two minutes for high sticking on Alex Carrier Campbell comes up with a save on Tommy Novak with Parsonen setting the screen in front then it is O'Reilly cashing in on the power play for the Preds his second goal of the period his sixth goal of the season not quite a backdoor tap in but he was over on the other side of the back post and he gets the feed from Philip Forsberg and puts the puck into the open net giving the National Purs a two goal lead three to one over the Oilers here in the second period but at 336 of the second period's carry off the box two minutes for holding the stick on Connor McDavid Lankin is going to come up with a save on Nugent Hopkins. And then Bouchard is going to finish off this power play for the Edmonton Oilers with his fourth goal of the season. The Preds PK unit put up a valiant effort before this long shot ended up finding its way to the back of the net. Luzon had blocked numerous shots, possibly credited with three during this one penalty kill shift. Uh, the unit was incredibly exhausted, and the Edmonton Oilers uh, seized on that, took advantage of a good puck move, and Bouchard from out high gets Edmonton their second goal of the game. Now Nashville leads 3 
to two here in the second period. 5.30 in the second period. McLeod's off the box. Two minutes four hooking on Tomasino and a good scoring attempt it was that prevented by the hook of McLeod. Novak is then off to the box. Two minutes four hooking. That's going to create a four on four scenario for a minute and 25 seconds. Lankanen would come up with a save on Bouchard. Campbell would come up with a save on Nyquist and then Edmonton would pick up another penalty. Bench minor. Too many men putting the Preds back on the power play. The Oilers penalty kill unit would hold. We would see an end to that special teams bonanza and the Edmonton Oilers would just be fueled up and ready to go once we got back to five on five hockey. Dominance coming. 11.09 in the second period. Lankin in a save on Nugent Hopkins. 11.53 another save on Nugent Hopkins. 12.15 Lankin in a save on Nurse. 12.47 Lankin in a save on Fogel. 13.10 Lankin in a save on Nurse. Two minutes and 30 seconds with the National Predators D trapped in their own zone and just absolute dominance by the Edmonton Oilers. It was the most bend not break scenario that I've seen for this National Predators team and one that they would fail on time and time again in the past. Maybe it was just good puck clock. Maybe it was something different with this team, but the Nashville Predators typically end up folding at the end of this, not with their netminder making this many saves. At the whistle that they finally got, television timeout. Maybe the best placed TV timeout of the entire season. Flipping over to the back sheet and also taking a deep breath from this broadcast. 1442 of the second period. Campbell comes up with a save on Smith. The first Preds shot since 652. That's eight minutes about. 1513 of the second period. It's Novak, his sixth goal of the season. Bar down, finish off the rush. Set up by Luke Evangelista. Great finish, great play, great rush all around by the Nashville Purs. Right here and Tommy Novak, all he does is make plays. The Nashville Purs now hold a 4-2 to two lead over the Edmonton Oilers. At 15.52 of the second period, Lankanen comes up with a save on Nurse. 16.25, Lankanen a save on Hyman's backhand. At the post, 18.45, Campbell back to work, picking up a save on Evangelista. At 18.50, Campbell one more save on Nyquist, plus the rebound follow-up. We hit the end of the second period. Incredible amount of shots on goal by both teams in the second. Now, each team with 25 for the game. We head on over to the third period. We are 112 into the third, and Campbell's coming up with a save on Trennan. 154 of this third period. Lankanen comes up with a save on McLeod at 225 of the third period Lankanen comes up with a save on Fogel plus the rebound follow up by McLeod a really strong save right here at 553 of the third period Kane and Parson each off to the box two minutes each there was a tripping and an embellishment involved in those calls it leads to a four on four where Lankanen has to come up with the best save of the scenario and that is on McDavid with the big kick out 805 of the third period Lankanen comes up with a save on Hyman after a terrible turnover right there on top of the blue paint this was really another tremendous save by Lankanen at 832 of this third period. O'Reilly's seventh goal of the season, his third goal of the game. That's right, O'Reilly with a hat trick. It's a jam at the side of the net. Initially not seen, so initially not ruled a goal. The play continued on, and the Preds actually scored again. So they had to rewind the clock after doing a quick review and realize that the initial goal went in at 832. So they put the time back on the clock, credited O'Reilly with his third goal of the game, his seventh of the season, giving him a hat trick for the game and giving the Nashville Predators a 5 to 2 lead in the third period. Midway through the third period at the 10-10 mark, Lankanen comes up with a save on Fogel, 12-41. Lankanen comes up with another save on Bouchard at 13-39. Lankanen a save on Dayarnay's heavy shot from out high at 15-03 of the third period. Lankanen continues doing work with a save on McLeod at 18-19. Campbell comes up with a save on Luzon at the 19-minute mark of the third period. Kevin Lankanen makes his final save of the game and that one comes on Hyman. The Nashville Predators Close things out in Edmonton in regulation. Significance right there because it has been a long time since the Preds have beaten the Edmonton Oilers in regulation. Your final score is 5-2. to two. The Edmonton Oilers end up out shooting the National Purs 35-34. Preds did an incredible job at 5-on-5. Hockey did not give up a goal in 5-on-5. Gave up two power play goals against the Edmonton Oilers. But then again, uh, everybody is susceptible to giving up power play goals to that lethal offense. It did not end up hurting the Nashville Pervs, whose offense explodes. Riley and Forsberg will have their final numbers and tallies coming up here in the analysis. But just an incredible night for the first line of the Nashville Pervs. And to see O'Reilly out there looking like there's 10 years off of his age. He just looks as fresh as can be out there in the this game and looked like he really wanted to help lead this National Purs team. And Forsberg did the same. And you've got to give Lankin in so much credit in the instant analysis and wrap of this. The sequence that he faced when the National Purs D was just trapped out there, when Delgado and Faber were out there for 
two and a half minutes, coming up with, I think, five to six total saves in that sequence. Uh, easily one of the best goaltending sequences of the entire season for this Nashville Predators team. And for Lankanen, Rusty in his first start, not Rusty at all in this one against the Edmonton Oilers, thought he was tremendous, came up with a lot of big saves and a lot of really, really big timely moments. So the Nashville Predators secure a victory in Edmonton, their first victory on the CMA road trip. We've got so much more coming up on this game. We've got the box score. We've got analysis and so much more coming up on the Renegades of Puck podcast. That was the Rebirth Sports full game recap.